Welcome to Pajama Storytime. I'm Miss Robin from the Whittier Public Library and it's time for us to get ready for some stories, songs, and fun. So let's go ahead and start with our first song where I can make sure you are all listening. So what we're going to do is we're going to sing this song and I'm going to do a couple moves and you are going to copy me and you will see when. So here we go. If you listen and you hear me go like this, ding dong. Good job. If you listen and you hear me go like this, ding dong. If you listen, then you'll hear me since you're sitting really near me. If you listen and you hear me go like this, ding dong. All right, good job, everybody. Those were some good ding-dongs. All right, and we're going to start with another song, and you may or may not know this one, but it's a lot of fun. So make sure you copy my movements and uh, listen nice and well to Miss Robin so we can get through this song. We're going to start with an animal who likes to sit on all fours and likes to hop around. And he's green, sometimes he has spots. Good job, he's a frog. So what does frogs say? We know they say ribbit, ribbit. But my froggy friend says, mmm, ah. Can you say that? Do that with me. Mmm, ah. Good job. All right, here we go. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog one day. Mm, ah, went the little green frog. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm, mm, ah. But, do these motions with me. We know frogs go sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. We know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, they don't go mm mm ah. Good job. Let's try a little fishy. Fishies that like to swim. Blue blue went the little blue fish one day. Blue blue went the little blue fish. Blue blue went the little blue fish one day, and they all went blue blue blue. But. We know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss. We know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. They don't go blue, blue, blue. All right, good fishy and froggies out there. Okay, everyone, it is time for us to hop into our story this evening. This book is called Bedtime for Bear. And this is written by Brett Halquist, and we are reading this book with the permission of Harper Collins Publishing. And here we go. Oh, here they come. Here come his friends. Hey bear! Hey bear! Yawn. <laughs> Says bear. It was just after the first snowfall when Bear's friends came running to his house. Hey, Bear, come out and play. Bear rolled over. Please, we won't see you again until spring. No, I can't play. It's bedtime for Bears. And Bear tried to sleep. Bear heard his friends playing. <laughs> Bear grumbled and closed his eyes. But Bear could still hear his friends laughing. <laughs> he could still hear his friends playing. Looks like they're throwing snowballs at snowballs at his window. Come on, 
and come out just for a little while, they said. Bear opened the door. Come on, guys, I'm trying to sleep. It's bedtime for bears. Uh-oh, here comes a snowball. Splat! Right on his face. Bear wasn't happy. Go away, let me sleep. But then, Bear tripped. Uh-oh. And he flipped and slipped and tumbled down the hill. Uh-oh. Looks like he's becoming a big snowball himself. Until thump. Bear was wet. He was covered in snow. He was laughing. <laughs> hey, Bear, let's do it again. So they did. Again and again and again. Hey, Bear, follow me. There was snow to roll in stack. One, two, three. What do we have? Ta-da! A snow bear. And a snowball fight. Zonk, zip, zing. There was snow to throw. They were having fun. Hey, Bear, we're tired. It's late. Isn't it time? Bedtime for bears? How about just one more time? I won't see you again until spring, said Bear. So down they slid again. And now it was getting dark. So Bear said, good night. And his friend said, good night. Yawn. <sighs> it was bedtime for Bear. He was falling fast asleep until, hey Bear. See you again in spring. But Bear was fast asleep. And that was the end. Good night, Bear. Sleep tight. We will see you in the spring. Okay, everybody, great. Did you like that story? I liked that story. We had a lot of fun in that story, right? Now, how many of you have teeth? Wave your hands really, really high if you have teeth. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Yes, we do. Okay, how many of you have ever lost a tooth? Did one of your teeth ever fall out? Yes. Oh, some teeth have fallen out. Now who comes at nighttime when your teeth fall out? Does anybody know? <gasps> you all right. The tooth fairy comes. Here she comes. Here's the tooth fairy. She likes to come and visit us at nighttime when we've lost a tooth. Because where do we put our teeth? Where do we put that tooth when it falls out? under our pillow. Good job. And we have a green pillow. We have a, what color is this one? Purple pillow. Good job. We have a white pillow. What other color pillow do we have? A blue pillow. Good job, a yellow or gold pillow. And 
I see one more. Can you guess what color it is? Any guesses? Pink! It's a pink pillow. We have so many pillows here. Let's count them. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, three fingers. Good job. Four, five, six pillows. But where is the tooth? So Tooth Fairy is going to say, children, children, look and see. Can you find the tooth for me? Hmm, which pillow could the tooth be under? Any guesses? Oh, I think I heard blue. Did I hear blue? All right, let's try looking under the blue pillow. Here it is. No. Here it is. No. Here it is. Let's check the blue pillow. Here we go. One, two, three. No tooth. Wasn't there. Let's try it again. Children, children, look and see. Can you find the tooth for me? She's looking for it. Any guesses? What color? Did I hear yellow? Yellow, let's look under the yellow pillow. Here we go. One, two, three. It's not there. Hmm. Is there a tooth? Let's keep looking. Children, children, look and see. Can you find the tooth for me? She's looking. Let's try. Which color should we look under next? Pink. Oh, I heard pink for sure. Let's try looking under the pink pillow. Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> it's not there. I guess we have to try another pillow. How many do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three pillows left. Children, children, look and see. Can you find the tooth for me? Any guesses? What color should we look under next? Did I hear someone say the huh, white pillow? Let's look. One, two, three. It's not there. Hmm. We only have two choices left. Which colors do we have left? We have green and purple. Which color should we choose? Let's choose Miss Robin's favorite. That's purple. Children, children, look and see. Can you find a tooth for me? Let's try this one. Purple. One, two, three. We found the tooth. Good job, everybody. There it is under the purple pillow. I see this big, huge tooth right here. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder how much money we get. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some. Maybe we won't. But we are all done. So let's take away this last pillow. This last rainbow pillow? No. This last black pillow? No. This last green pillow. All right. Bye, Tooth Fairy. Thanks for coming. All right, good job. All right, everybody, it is time for us to sing a song. So I want to talk about my friend Bear. Remember Bear from our book? He likes to sleep. So can you show me how Bear sleeps? Show me how your big bear sleeps. Oh, like this. Good job. And then we'll have to wake him up. Can you wake up like this? Good job. Then we'll say hello with a big wave. And then we're going to eat. Those are all the actions we're gonna do in this next song. So can you join me? We'll sing it a couple times. It goes like this. Bear is sleeping, bear is sleeping. Wake him up, wake him up. Come and say hello, bear. Come and say hello, bear. 
Time to eat. Time to eat. Bear is sleeping. Bear is sleeping. Wake him up. Wake him up. Come and say hello, bear. Come and say hello, bear. Time to eat. Time to eat. All right, everybody. Thanks for doing that with me. It was a lot of fun. So that's what you get to look for tomorrow morning when you wake up and get to eat breakfast. All right, everybody. Do you know what time it is? We had fun today, but story time is over. Do you know what time it is? What time it is? What time it is? Do you know what time it is? Story time is over. Now it's time to say good night. Say good night. Say good night. Now it's time to say good night. Story time is over. But thank you for joining us. Don't forget to sign up for Summer Reading Club on Beanstack if you haven't already at whittierlibrary.beanstack.org. Uh, we still have prizes to pass out, so feel free to do that or give us a call if you need to. Make sure to join us for other story times throughout the week. And thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.